There are four NES cores in RetroArch, but only three of them have support for the Zapper or the NES gun games. Quick NES doesn't support it, and Masson uses the mouse pointer as a crosshair, so you can't really play in full screen. I do not recommend this core for gun games. Now, because most of the Zapper games use the port 2 on the NES, you have to change some things in the input settings. The only game I know that uses the Zapper in port 1 is Baby Boomer. In RetroArch, go to Settings, Input, make sure the maximum user is set to 2 or more, then go to Retro Pad Binds, Port 2 Controls, in the Mouse Index, change the default then scroll down until you see the gun trigger settings it should be configured by default but if for some reason it isn't you'll have to configure it manually and to do that left click on top of it or press enter on your keyboard then hold the left mouse button to assign the trigger do the same for the reload or do the same for the gun reload but in this case hold the right mouse button you can now load NES Zapper game or gun game and everything should be working correctly. And as you can see here, the crosshair is showing up. It means that the Zapper is loading automatically. If you're playing in a window mode, you can activate or enable the game mode in RetroArch so that your mouse cursor doesn't go out of the RetroArch window. And you can do this by pressing the scroll lock on your keyboard. If for some reason the core is not detecting the zapper, go into the controller settings, press F1 on your keyboard, go to controls, port to controls, and in the device type, change from auto to zapper. That's it for this video, thank you for watching and happy gaming.